Puccini. I am a composer of opera. But you already know that. That is why you are here, am I right? Oh, let me explain. I was reading a biography of Puccini and there was a very short, brief reference to something that had happened in his house in 1909 and it fascinated me enough to investigate further. There was a, a, a scandal in the Puccini Villa which was the talk of Italy at the time and what amazed me was that we a hundred years later just don't know about this. Even people I know who know so much about Puccini and his wonderful music so I thought we have an opportunity to tell something of the man behind the music. I decided to go to Torre del Lago, which is the little village where Puccini lived. Uh, his, his villa is a museum, so you can go inside and walk around, literally touch his piano and see the paintings on the walls. It's been left as it was. And I went for four days and I wrote the script there. And in a sense, I came back with it and felt like I, I, another person had written it. And we had an amazing tenor, James Edwards, just extraordinary. And people just fell in love with him, you know, and we're so lucky to have him back again because there's not many people who can sing this repertoire. And certainly James is just extraordinary. We have the wonderful Simon Morgan, baritone, who's really popular, um, very much loved Irish baritone and a great soprano, uh, Mairead Buick, who is just extraordinary and beautiful too and, and, a, and a great colleague, lovely to work with. <laughs> Anthony Byrne, we have the wonderful concert pianist who has played concertos all over the world and uh, he's accompanying the, the scores on piano and he frequently tells me that they are wonderful to play, just as virtuosic uh, as any piano, uh, piano piece. Opera can be challenging because, you know, it's in a foreign language and sometimes people are put off by that. Um, and with this show, it's a very accessible story and, and obviously Puccini is speaking to, directly to the audience in a language they understand, mm -hmm. but the music then is, they, they're all very familiar uh, uh, arias and, uh, and duets, they're all recognisable and I think what it does, it explains what's going on in them, you know, because Puccini sets them up, he describes something in his life and then he says it's rather similar to my duet from 